a little bit dis different perspective for us we're gonna I'm gonna try to do something every week a little something on sewing and of course the sewing project will probably more often than not have something to do with art and art journaling but not always and one of my most watched videos on here on my youtube channel is my denim apron video which is all sewing and yes it's an apron that I can art in but um, it's a sewing video. So I thought that this year I would do some more sewing videos for you since you seem to like that one so much. So we're gonna do one of those today and I've got my sewing machine here and a couple of zippers and a little, I used to do a lot of sewing for people so I have a lot of these little tags with my name on them so I'm gonna put that inside of our project today. I'm gonna use some of the fabric that I just bought that I had printed with some of my artwork on it and I have some plain canvas on the floor too. I'm going to cut out a few pieces and we're gonna make a little pencil bag. It's gonna have two different pockets in it and uh, it's gonna be real cute, I think. And uh, so we're gonna get started. Before I'll we get be right started back. with the sewing machine, I thought we'd cut out some of our pieces. So I know I want the bag to be the width of the zipper I need to cut fabric that's the width of the zipper all the way, including um, the kind of selvage end. And um, let's see, I don't want it too big, but I know I need it to be that wide. No, I'm ripping it. Yes, if you can rip the fabric, um, if it's on the straight of grain, it should rip fairly straightly. I know that I want to have a bag with a like zipper at the top and a zipper there, and then I want the whole thing to be about like that. So then I need. And yes, I'm winging it. I'm not making a pattern. You don't always have to make a pattern or buy a pattern. Okay, so I know I want it to go to there, about there. Okay, I put the rest of this away. And we're gonna need a piece of the canvas that's the same size. So I want this bag to have a lining. This this is a, a cotton linen canvas, but it's not super thick. Um, this is a cotton uh, duck cloth or natural canvas, and this is thicker. And this is what I use a lot for pencil bags and things like that. I do want to cut this white this white part off, so or most of it off. So let's do that. And then let's cut a piece of canvas that's the same size. I'm going to use these uh, beige colored zippers because that's what I have. And I, the point of this is to teach you all how to make something, hopefully from things you already have in your stash. Now, you know, if you're not a sewer and you don't have any zippers, of course you could go out and buy some. You could also, if you have old clothes that have zippers in it, you could rip the zippers out and use those. Okay, let me put this down here on the floor in the box it came out of. Um, and these zippers are about a nine inch zipper. Okay, so now I know on this one, first of all, we're going to um, cut both of these in half this way. There we go. So two of these are for the back, so we're going to set those aside. Two are for the front. Now, for the ones on the front, I want to have a zipper 
about here. I'm going to need another piece of canvas that's this big. I'm in my head I'm working out the assembly of this piece. Something I do. I used to be able to do more of it than I do now. But you know, it's the way it is. Alright, so let's cut another piece of canvas. Hey guys, okay, so we have a bunch of pieces of fabric. We have two like this that we because we cut it in half. And these two pieces are for the back. Then I took my patterned piece for the front and I cut about a third of it off the top. Then I took the bigger piece and I cut a piece of canvas that's that same size. Right? I've got my two zippers and my tag. Let's get started. I will tell you, I want to remind you that if you're going to work on fabric, you really should have scissors that are dedicated to fabric. Uh, paper dull scissors very quickly. and rather than fussing back and forth with your scissors trying to sharpen them all the time because they won't cut your fabric because you've used them on paper just dedicate a pair of scissors to fabric right off the bat you are going to save yourself a lot of headache all right i will get the sewing machine back up on the table and i'll be right back okay so before we get started i'm going to take my regular presser foot off and i'm going to put one on that's intended for zippers at least for the part where I'm sewing the zippers. I may switch it back out to the regular one later, but I may just leave this one on for the whole bag. This allows me to get really close to the zipper teeth without um, getting the machine jammed up and having a problem. Okay, so I'm gonna put the right side of the zipper to the right side of the fabric, and I'm gonna stitch it along one long side Oops, I gotta move the zipper foot. Let's see. There we go. trim all my threads. If you're doing a mixed media um, art journaling kind of sewing, then you know sometimes you want to leave the threads, it leaves texture, but if you're a, se a seamstress, you don't want to do that. It drives you crazy. <laughs> okay, I like that. I like the way it looks, but before I do anything else, I'm going to sew my other piece, patterned piece, to the right side of the zipper. So my pieces look like this. So to the other side of the zipper that's not stitched yet. Now, I'm not one for doing a lot of pressing unless I'm doing garment construction, and this is going to be no exception. Of course, if you think that before you do this next step you need to press it, by all means go do that. I'm going to fold my fabric down, and I'm going to top stitch it to the zipper. I'll do it and then I'll show it, hold it up to the camera. I'm going to just do it for right now on the top because we have to do something to the else to the bottom. I'll show it to the camera in a minute. If you don't know the first thing about sewing but you want to learn a lot of the your local fabric stores have sewing classes, so go in and ask them about it, how much it is, when they have the class. Okay, 
So now to create the little pocket in the front, so here's the top stitching, doesn't it look cute? So to create this little pocket that's going to be in the front with a main pocket in the other part of the zipper, we need to give this pocket some, first I want to line it so we don't have all these raw edges sticking out. So we are going to sew, here's the inside of our front. We're going to take this other piece of canvas, the short, the little one, and we're going to sew it to the other side. Here's our pattern big piece and here's our canvas big piece and in between is the zipper and the small piece. We made it a little fabric sandwich. So now we're going to sew them all together. And this will help start to create our pocket and hide all of our raw edges at the same time. the zipper because the zipper pull is getting in my way so I'm going to and I'm going to restitch this end there we go okay so now we have a piece that looks like this and if I stitch these two together, all the raw edges are hidden, which is what we want. And we're going to do. I'm going to just finger press it. You could, of course, like I said, go and um, heat up your iron and iron it. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm a lazy crafter. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. So now... We're going to top stitch this. Go slow, there's no reason to rush. Now when you get to the zipper pull, right before you get to the zipper pull, stop with the needle down inside the fabric. Right there. That ensures that your fabric doesn't slip around and now I can pull the zipper pull up out of my way and keep sewing. And the bulk of the zipper pull won't mess up my stitches. So now we have something that looks like this. Really cute, huh? All right, so now, 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 now. Next, we want to put our zipper on the top. Make sure your pulls are gonna both be going the same way. nice it looks good then I'm going to put the other piece of pattern fabric on I'm going to make sure that my design so my design does have a pattern and there's this stripe of, of shapes here 
and I want to make sure when I sew this piece on that it continues that stripe on the same side. So I'm going to line that up. Yep, and sew that down. Okay, it's coming along nicely. Pencil bags are really easy to make and they're good practice for just doing straight stitching. I like that, that looks good. So now we have a piece that looks like this. It's got two zippers in it, right? All right. We're gonna make it like this and it's gonna have a big pocket on the top and a little one here. I like it. All right, so now I want to take one of my rectangles and I want to make another fabric sandwich like I did with the small pocket. So I can hide this top seam. And create that small outer pocket. Now the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to top stitch around this other zipper, but I'm not going to top stitch, I just thought of this, I'm not going to top stitch through the canvas, only through the other fabric. Um, if you do through the canvas and the pattern fabric, it's going to make turning it right side out difficult. So let's not do that. Now I'm going to pull my canvas down to the front of the bag and I'm going to stitch along the bottom of my lower zipper right down here right on top of the top stitching that I already did and I'm going to sew both pieces of canvas and the pattern fabric all of it together. Now I'm going to sew my other piece of canvas to the other side of the zipper and make another sandwich like I did before.
do some top stitching but not through the canvas. First finger press because it's like every which way. Okay. I should not have sewn these together yet. So, seam ripper, where is it? Here. All right. Oh, well, we're going to take it apart. That's what they make seam rippers for. If you make a mistake and you're like frustrated because you have to rip the stitches out, okay, that happens to everybody who sews. There's no way on the planet you can sew stuff without buying a seam ripper. If you're going to go out and buy sewing supplies, buy a seam ripper. There we go. Okay, pull all the loose threads out. If you're like me and you're working in, in your workroom, just toss them on the floor. <laughs> Plan on vacuuming later. But get them all out because they'll bug you. It will. They'll bug me. If you're like me, they'll bug you. Okay, let's see. Yep. Okay, so now you have something that looks like this. Yeah. So we're going to take our bag and we're going to take the top zipper, this one here, and we're going to open it halfway. If you don't do that, you're not going to be able to get your bag you open. Just trust me on that. I've made that mistake. Yeah. All right. So this is where you may or may not want to use some pins. Um, I tend to not want to use pins. But that's just me. I'm going to line up fabrics up. I do think I'm going to use some pins. Let me grab my pins. Okay. So I'm going to pin everything together so it doesn't move around. And I'm going to, oh, not with that pin, evidently. That one's got glossy accents or something on it. Um, I'm going, there we go. I'm going to give it about a half inch seam allowance. And you're going to sew it all the way around all the sides. Leaving a little hole in the bottom of the plain canvas so that you can turn it right side out. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to leave a little, like a two or three inch hole up here. So I'm going to start at one side of what's going to be the hole. And I just pinned the patterned fabric because it was kind of sliding around. Okay. And I'm going to, yeah, a 
half inch to five eighths inch seam allowance. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I want to switch presser foots. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put my label, didn't I? That's a good thing I didn't pin this. So on the inside of one of your pieces of canvas, near the top, near the zipper, if you're going to put a label in, that's where you put the label in. Let's do that first. Put our regular presser foot back on. There we go. Don't go too far with the zipper foot. Because we'll need it. And we'll approximately center it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Hold your threads before you get started. Oh, bobbin's out of thread. All right, I'm going to wind my bobbin. As you get close right. to the pin, pull it out. If you sew over the pins, you're going to break your needle. Also, don't sew over the metal zipper teeth if you can help it. I need to pull my fabric this way a little bit. I am going to back tack a couple times over where the zipper is so that I know that that is really good and secure in there. That's going to have a lot of um, wear on that spot. It's going to be tugged on a lot. When you turn your corners, do it with your presser foot, I mean, sorry, your needle down into the fabric so you don't lose your place. Okay. I'm going to open up this other zipper a little bit too so that that presser, um, the zipper pull doesn't get in my way. Okay. So I'm going to stop there and pull a couple stitches out because I'm going to be too close to the other zipper. It's a little crooked. Okay, so actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the other end and I'm going to leave, like I said, a three or four inch space here at the bottom. If I cut all these threads off, they're going to drive me crazy. Okay. So I'm going to start a couple inches from the other corner. Okay. Where my two seam um, rows of stitching overlap, I'm going to leave, but where the one goes inside too far, I'm just pulling, I'm ripping the stitches out. There we go, that should work. So now, before you do anything, clip your corners off. If you don't clip the corners off, there's too much bulk. And they won't turn out correctly. The corners will be funky. So now we're going to 
open the zipper all the way first. I gotta get my hand in there. So I gotta open the main zipper all the way so that we can get the bag open. There we go. And then I'm gonna reach all the way through to the other end and just pull it all the way through the hole. And when I'm doing work like this, I use an old knitting needle to help me. And this helps me pull out the corner, push out the corners. Just be gentle and don't poke it through the fabric because that can happen very easily. I've done it, so. And just keep um, pushing on the corner until it comes out nicely. And do that to all four corners. I've done another pencil bag here on the channel where I did a fabric collage pencil bag. So if you want to see that video, I'll try to remember to create a um, sewing playlist, actually, now that I think about it. It's probably a good idea. Oop, see, I just poked a hole in the fabric, but that's all right. It's on the lining, so. So what can happen is a knitting needle can go between the... Um, fibers of the fabric and just poke right out so no digging any holes to china while you're doing this <laughs> just be gentle I'm in a hurry because I'm on camera okay that's better so now before we finish with the bag we're gonna sew up this hole so I'm just poking all the threads and everything inside and again, I'm going to just finger press it, and all the raw edges are tucked in, and I'm going to top stitch it. And top stitch it closed. Okay, cut your threads. And then put the lining into that outer bag. Threads everywhere. Okay, so before we are done with the bag, I want to create this pocket here. I don't want it to go all the way up this way. So what I want to do is, and this is tricky, so I have a sewing machine that has a free arm, meaning this part comes off, and I can put this inside like that, and I can turn the bag around. I need to keep track of my threads. And I can start at one side. And I'm going to sew right over the top stitching I put on there before. Back and forth. There we go. Oh, except that's the wrong side. Oops. <laughs> that's going to sew the pocket closed. See what happens when you spend all your time painting, you forget how to sew. Maybe I'll edit some of this out. Maybe I won't. So I want to pull. Okay, so 
So when you do this part, though, you want to make sure you sew above the zipper, not below. Otherwise, you're sewing your pocket closed, which I just did, <laughs> or almost did. Okay, keep track of my threads. It's been a while since I made a bag. All right, a bag like this anyway. All right. So I'm going right over the top stitching I put on here before. I'm pulling my fabric and manipulating it as I'm going. I'm going slow to make sure that there's no puckers or wrinkles. I'm going to stop right here with the needle down into the fabric. I'm going to pull my zipper open and then I'm going to keep put it back, put the presser foot back down and keep sewing. Threads. Give everything a trim. And there we go. Now we have a cute little pencil bag. Okay. So now we have a cute little pencil bag made out of some of my custom fabric. It's got a big pocket on top, plenty of room. It's got another pocket on the front. Thread stick into it with some more room. You could use it for pencils, you could use it for makeup, you could use it for a whole bunch of different things. So give it a try, do some playing and experimenting and make yourself a little bag and let me know how it comes out. All right, all right, I'll see you all later. Don't forget to go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, bye.